Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. Uh, this mission is called Fatherhood and Other Dreams. It's part two, and, well, it's, I don't know where part one came from, but we end up with the return of Mary, Arthur's love interest from the video we loved once and true. And in that video, Arthur helped Mary, well, helped get Mary's uh, younger brother out of trouble with a cult. And now Mary wants Arthur to help her with her father. And naturally, well, she does tend to pull on Arthur's heartstrings. So let's get on with this. It starts with a letter that Arthur gets at Shady Bell. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but... I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing. And I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am... Ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Now, you really don't have to, um, how shall I say, go to Mary and do this mission, but. It is kind of one that, uh, how shall I say, is interesting. And you kind of have to play with the whole love interest thing. And, well, let's just say this mission is somewhat interesting. Yeah, I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. 
Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. And so now you have to help Mary find her father and ride over to whatever stables it is. And she chit-chats with Arthur and pulls on his heartstrings. But that is what she does. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner, I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired I and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. And now the boring part, tracking Mr. Gillis and watching him stagger around drunk and yeah. You know what, you can continue on, I'm just going to fast forward through this. I mean, all you got to do is follow the dude and not be seen. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you!
What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not your I've case to sell. Oh, it's right just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, but you like that, don't you, Mary? I am ashamed of you, Daddy. Why are you doing this to us? What's wrong with you? With me. I had to do some editing there because the horse I stole, which is this one, uh, well, it isn't very good as far as pursuing the uh, stage that you need to pursue. And if you don't get to the stage early enough, well, basically the horse dies and the stage gets away. So get to the stage as quickly as possible before this stolen horse collapses and you have to restart the mission again. You stop right now. Now you gotta drive to a secluded spot and get the brooch back, which, well, takes a little bit of time. wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Here, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Morgan already paid for it. Sad part is he can't take the stagecoach and sell it at uh, his stagecoach fence. And at least the cut scene and do a quick travel so that you're not spending 20 minutes riding back to St. Dennis to return the brooch, brooch to Mary. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. 
I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why, yes. Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. If you decline, you end up taking her to the trolley, and she says goodbye. You accept, you go to the theater, you have, what? It just makes this mission longer. And, you know, to be honest with you, I'm going to fast forward through it because it's not worth seeing and this mission has gotten long enough. <sighs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted too. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will once I get some money. I had some, but then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Mission over. And now, Morgan's got to find his horse. Yeah, that sucks. Because the horse is now somewhere in the city and coming toward Mr. Morgan. I screenshotted for some reason. But, it again, trying to find the horse. If you like this mission and you found it informative, Hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a message. Um, I try and reply to all comments. If you like this type of video, well, I post four videos a week. And sometimes they're not Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon. And you will be informed when I post those videos. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.